Senso Sublime is the latest exhibition by Pontevedra-born artist Sergio Portela in the museum of this same city. It was opened officially on Friday the 23rd September and will remain accessible to the general public until the 8th of November 2015. From the very entrance, the visitor is immediately aware of the presence of both the sublime and the sensual, and this feeling will no doubt intensify throughout this retrospective of the artist's work, which covers Mr. Portela's oeuvre from his early years up until the present day. Including woodwork, metalwork, plaster, oil painting, photography, literature and poetry, Mr. Portela's work will show the art lover and the layperson alike his progressive familiarization with the technique and craftsmanship of artisanal skill, never shine away from an inner world populated by shamans and shadows, specular reflections, illusions, legends, honorism and passionate love. The first of the three rooms is configured horizontally as much as vertically. Sawdust and woodblock leftovers stand at Saint Eros feet, where greyish walls and wooden floors collide chromatically with an explosion of ochre. The finished work is accompanied by a series of tile-sized photographs which portray various steps in the creative process, from an adequate selection of materials to the support provided by family members. It would seem that even the minutest procedure eventually becomes alive in the observer's mind, when presented with this altogether evocative group of snapshots. As the tree trunk is destroyed, Saint Eros' emergence from nature's product comes to effect. A plaster version of the bearded saint presides the diaphanous space in a meditative mood. The tiny goldfinch that is perched on the man's shoulder reveals his reflexive state of mind while his nakedness symbolically points towards the saint asceticism and austerity. On a more pagan note, the figure of Gaia, the Greek goddess of earth, rests on the floor, still encumbered by her own caste. Unclothed and devoid of her metal armor, she keeps overseeing the globe next to her bosom in the presence of a double. Whether it is plaster, wood or several different materials combined, Mr. Portela's mastery of shape appears to pursue anatomical accuracy tirelessly. Sleeping women starkly contrast with oaken colossi which squint menacingly in the direction of the observer. Where plaster is delicate and comforting, carved wood might perhaps prove somewhat discomforting. Shamanic symbols, animal carcasses and the collection of skulls intrigued the visitor in the second room where most of the early surrealist paintings are located. Female bodies compete with primitive men and prehistoric anthropomorphic figures for the viewer's attention. The classical, the occult and the atavistic overlap in what might be judged as the central piece of the exhibition, entitled The Cultures of the Cube of Satan. Keen observers with an eye for detail will immerse in this cryptic work right away to investigate its golden black underworld and its erotic Olympus. The spirit of ancient Mesopotamian, Egyptian and Phoenician cultures seems also to have left a mark in Mr. Portela's productive subconscious, even though biblical references are frequently revisited in his artwork, both paintings and sculptures. Colourful plasters and contorted, ecstatic wooden figures invite the visitor to approach and almost to touch, so as to ascertain that the pieces are indeed inert in spite of exuding life and beauty from their every pore. A resin model of one of Mr. Portela's most recent commissions for a public space, a female elf commemorating nine fallen local men, who were shot in Pontevedra during the Spanish Civil War, features prominently in the back wall, alongside the imaginative Blue Mermaid. In their way out, visitors may admire one last meditating white figure in the small black space at the end of the third and final room, as well as take the opportunity to indulge in a succession of photographs that will bring them closer to the aesthetic experience of visiting Nepal, New York City or even the Great Canyon. 
The exhibition stays open until the first week of November. Guided visits require no reservation and are held on Thursdays and Saturdays starting at 7 o'clock in the afternoon. Do not miss your chance to see Sergio Portela's retrospective at the Museum of Pontevedra, 6th building, closes on Mondays.